Hi. <laughs> Bienvenidas a Super Mamas. Super Mamas. This is Paulina. And this is Frisia. We're new moms. We're sisters. I have two beautiful girls, a four-year-old and a one-year-old at home. And I have one beautiful baby boy. As you can imagine, we have so much to share. We're just two working moms rolling with the punches of everyday mommyhood. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Okay, listas? Here we go. Hi, Super Mamas. This is Bricia. And this week in the podcast, my sister and I got together and just chat up a storm per usual. We talk about everything from our intentions for the next year and reflect on 2015. We also talk about some of our favorite books of this year that we read and just share laughs. So I hope you guys enjoy the show and happy new year. Hi, ladies. Hello, everybody. Paulina, this is our last show of the year, and you're like, toda ahí desinflada. <laughs> yes, yes. 2015 does not want to let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me, 2015. Let go of me. I know. I know. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What's fr- What's wrong with you now? <laughs> So many things. <laughs> no, I mean, I was fine. You know, I was fine. I you was were like, fine on oh Christmas. My God, nobody. I was not fine on Christmas. I woke up that morning. I mean, you were drinking <coughs> like you were fine. I was drinking. And then I forgot for a little bit that I was sick. <laughs> but um, mom, mom, she was like, so Paulina's sick. And I'm like, oh, she's like, why you got a key? I'm like, ah, ah, tengo dos. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, me. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, mom. <laughs> The one that called me and was like, what do I do it to go to Kaiser? I have a flu. I'm like, <laughs> why are you going to go to Kaiser? I'm not going to do anything for you, mom. <laughs> <laughs> we're just just like each other. <laughs> we, we're so like each other. You so guys funny. are exactly the same we're person. Sa- we're in one person. Isn't it crazy? So does that mean that Krisa's going to end up being like you? I, I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Yesterday she was in my house and I was like ironing and she was helping me with my curtains. And mom? Yeah. Aww. She held me with curtains and I was ironing the, the curtains. And we were just talking. And dad was just like in the living room like, she's moses. <laughs> <laughs> when she you were like, ironing your curtains? Uh, just, yes. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have curtains. I need to get curtains for my house. Actually, well, because, I think you know, curtains are going to be my vision board. <laughs> <laughs> curtains. <laughs> Well, I've been, you know, because I've been home and then I was like staring in my room and I was like, damn, this looks nasty with no curtains. I had the curtains since like Black Friday. (laughs) Oh, you have curtains. Oh, you were just putting them up. Yeah. I just, you know, like I had those things in my windows and I was just like, this looks like so toe up. (laughs) So yesterday I was like, I need to do this. But they were too long and mom was helping me. Oh. Yeah. And um, it was just just man though. (laughs) About sales and the mall and how busy the mall was this weekend. <laughs> and we came up with this thing where we're saying that next year, uh-huh. <laughs> instead of giving presents on Christmas, we should give presents on New Year's. Because then after Christmas, all the sales. All the come. sales. Yeah. <laughs> so we should do that. Or you can buy your presents the weekend of Thanksgiving and then <laughs> save money too. Who does that? I got some really good deals. And I, I went on Monday. Like, you know, Thanksgiving was Thursday and I mm-hmm. went on Monday and in things weren't packed like you still got dude we gave our list to each other like four days before christmas well i mean it's one of those <laughs> things like sorry i already got your present <laughs> you're late on your get on your on your thing you know it was funny because every time i would go buy, buy something for within the list i would pull up my text and i'm like do you have this do you have that and they were like that's a great idea to send images i guess a lot of people don't send images of what they want Oh, really? We do that. I do that also with my, my secret Santa with my friends. And everybody was like, Paulina, you're so smart. You send <laughs> images of what you want. I'm like, yeah, because I don't want to get something that I don't like. <laughs> I have so many and here's, scarves. And here's the link. <laughs> yeah, and here's the link. This is we can buy it. I know. I feel like everyone gives scarves or sweaters, right? right? It's like I have a wall full of scarves. You know what? Tita, Tita gave the best freaking present ever. So my little sister gave, I guess, I mean, 
it was technically it's for my husband but it's this like uh like this i don't even know what it's called like a poop stool yeah <laughs> it's called it's gonna mm -hmm. it's this like stool that you put underneath your um toilet and mm -hmm. then like you put your feet up <laughs> and then like you're squatting and taking a poop at the same time and then my husband was telling me how like he's like you know is this one of those things that i really want but like i'm not gonna go on and buy <laughs> but can save me he was saying how he had read about how it can yeah. prevent colon cancer yeah. and men because mm -hmm. sometimes when you poop you don't poop everything out because you're in the wrong position that's true same thing as birth same right? thing as labor mm -hmm. i'm like yeah there's birth stools like when you're yeah. kind of anyway he was like babe think about like back in the day like ancient times before <laughs> toilets were existed like this is how people sat ancient times Think back to when we were kids and we had to go to like meet. Like. Okay, okay, fine. You know how when you squat on the floor yeah. to take a poop, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're in the perfect angle. So this thing kind of, you know, you're yeah. sitting down and your feet Toilet are Toilets were because it was like a commodity. And now, and now going to the bathroom in the morning is a whole other experience. <laughs> <laughs> now we've taken our poop again to the next level. Well, Do you talk about poop with your husband? I feel yeah. like at some point when you're married... That's pretty much your conversation in it's the morning. It's like, oh my God, you know talk. what happened? Like, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. We talk about like all kinds of stuff that you mm. wouldn't talk about. It's so funny. My One of my good friends, she's always putting what her her, boy, her fiance gives her like on, on like mm -hmm. in Instagram and stuff. And it's like, oh, my babe got me like flowers and uh -huh. my babe got me like a, a watch or a purse. And I'm like, wait until you're married. <laughs> He'll give you a poop stool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, anyway, uh, wait. Okay, how do we? Okay, not. Let's not talk about poop anymore. Um, <laughs> let's not. How end was the your year. weekend? Yeah, let's not end the year with poop talk. <laughs> this episode is supposed to just kind of just you and I chatting it up. I guess talking about the future. Talking about our future and, and really, this year. yeah, and how amazing this year has been for for our family and yes. setting our intentions out into the world tomorrow night my sister and i are hosting we're hosting a vision board party at my house and mm -hmm. i'm excited and uh, me too i've done vision boards gosh for like five years mm -hmm. you got me into vision boards. yeah so i didn't do a vision board last year neither did i but <laughs> i've done them all and i did it with like i've done like different ones um mm -hmm. and you know it's kind of it's fun and you get all the girls together uh, and we, uh, I'm providing the board because sometimes one of my girlfriends once like brought like this like, como un tripe, you know what I'm talking about? Like a triptych, a project size, a project size like the ones you took in like high school. Wait, she, maybe she wants to put us a headboard. You don't know that. <laughs> maybe you wake up every day in your big old thing, and she can put like babies. Now, like, can you imagine if a guy comes over to your house and sees that vision board? He's gonna run as fast as possible. Like, damn girl. I know. Um, well, so I put the I always, baby there. Two you did. Two years ago. You did, and yeah. she came. And she I, so came. many. I've seen so many things kind of come, like, you know, like a life from the vision board. And I mean, it, the vision board isn't supposed to like be like, oh, I'm gonna put a Lamborghini and then you <laughs> secretly get it, right? It's not like that. It's more like a reminder yes. of every day, like how your you're without losing your vision of like what you want your year yeah. to be like, and just in life. I mean, I've got I'm putting things there like I've put like several years and. I didn't really saw them come to fruition until like a couple years later. So, mm -hmm. yeah, because you I'm start excited. the year with like propositos, right? And January first, you go to the gym <laughs> and you start eating healthy, and then like by February first, dude, by January thirteenth. <laughs> what do you mean February first? <laughs> My husband's gonna become a vegetarian also in twenty sixteen. I know, and mom, and mom is a kind of and vegetarian too. too. I think that's what she wants to go to tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I think she wants to go to dinner every night. And She's for gonna now have until, barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's becoming a vegetarian. Wow. So I don't know how that's going to play out in the household. But there's a lot of things that you can do. I mean, are you two or no? You know, I, I, I told my husband, you know, I don't want to say yes because I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I don't mean I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like he wanted me to. No, I don't think, I don't know. I don't think, I no. I don't think he wanted me to. I just think it would have been like a nice thing for me, like in solidarity yeah. to do it with him. It's, it's, I mean, but I think like when we go out and eat, like I will try to, you what know, what about inside your house? 
How about you're a not you're a vegetarian inside your house and you're not a vegetarian in the restaurant? Like I'm I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> I won't be a vegetarian when I'm not with him. So yes. at the house I have to be vegetarian. When we go out to dinner I have to be a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. But when I go to dinner with my girlfriends I'm getting steak. <laughs> like I am like I'm like honey I'm gonna go with my girlfriend. Where are you going? Oh you know, fucking so like the steakhouse. <laughs> it's far away from you where I can eat meat in peace. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so it's, you know, a lot of things are happening. I'm so excited for 2016. I have a lot of, oh my God. I bought this book mm -hmm. this weekend and I told you I want to give you. Mm -hmm. I feel like you should read it before the year ends. You say you're writing today, so I, I might read it. Up the I got it uh, Friday. I got it Friday. I don't know. Friday night. Oh, because my husband was out of town. So like I was home by myself and I read like half of the book in one night. Oh, and nice. then, like, I woke up Saturday at 2 a.m. And I couldn't go back to sleep, so I read the other half. What? I mean, like... <coughs> what? <laughs> so the book is called... Wait, so the book is called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The Tide... Oh! Tidying Up. You know up. what? The you know Japanese art of decluttering and organizing. Rocio told you. Norma told me about it. Norm, yeah, she told me about it too. I actually have it written down. Okay. Yeah. So she told me about it. Oh my god. So she had told me about it like before, and I was like, oh cool, that okay, okay. And something inside of me was like, just buy it. Uh -huh. And I bought it, and oh my god, like it just it's changed my whole perspective in like my house. Like, all I can think about, like, right now, I, I already declared my entire car. Like, I took out a box of trash from my car. Really? Dude, I, I so, I mean, it's, you guys have to read this book. Like, I cannot, I cannot, like, tell you how it will change your life. Mm-hmm. And it talks about, I mean, obviously decluttering and organizing your home and how like that brings ordering to your life. And, you know, if you have ordering your house, you have order in the rest of your life, which makes complete sense to me. Yeah. And, you know, I'm already kind of, I mean, I'm not like OCD organizer. I mean, you are. Kind no, of. but like, not like, not like, mom. like hardcore. Like mom. If you, I bought the book for mom too, because I feel like she needs to read it. Because it's about decluttering too. I um, feel like you sh you should totally yeah, read I'm it. A hoarder. So in it talks just about like how these things that you keep like just you have like you put weight on yourself. Yeah. And once you let go of everything, like you just your mind is clear, and it gives you tips on how to start organizing your house and the mm -hmm. first thing you that you tackle is not like by section you shouldn't do like i'm gonna do my room this time and then the kitchen like it shouldn't be like that it should just be in like like first you do all the clothes all around the house your clothes the girls clothes like just clothes mm -hmm. once you get rid of all the clothes and you go with books and then you go with the magazines and then you go with like all these little things that you have around like you know like <laughs> Everything. I mean, but then like you kind of go into a roll. So yeah. I started this weekend. I took out, I kid you not, but that for my vanity, for my bathroom, three boxes of trash. Really? And you've seen it. I mean, it doesn't look like, I mean, it's a tiny area. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't look cluttered. Mm -hmm. Like you wouldn't think. Yeah, yeah. But I took out three boxes of trash, dude. No, I know. I've done that in the bathroom, like just the bathroom. And I'm like, how the fuck did I have all these things here? And actually, now that you're talking about it, was it? On the 25th, there was a full moon? Yeah. So you sent out a message, right? About yeah. like the full moon. and I said to set out your intentions. Yeah. You know, and and I come with a clear mind. <clears throat> so when your vision board comes, you yeah. like, you kind of put your vision the next year. So I told my husband, like, after the kids went to sleep, we went outside and we sat outside for like five minutes because it was so freezing, <laughs> freaking cold. Oh, that's cool. But we did. And, and, and we were talking about like those. Like, you know, cause well, that's the night I started reading this book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And... And I like one of the first things that came into my mom was like order. I need order in my life. Like I was telling him like everything has to do with order. Like from the moment I wake up, I need to have like a set schedule, like a routine, a routine, a schedule. Like, you know, like I need to do this, I need to do that. I need to like have everything ready for the girls because I'm always running around like crazy person. Like and that just triggers a bunch of things like patience and everything because I, I become very impatient pr mm -hmm. really fast because I'm not like I'm always like feel like the clock is like ahead of me like you know what i mean like right. so that was one of the big things so now that you're saying that i'm like i but should have that book. hold on so this book talks about how everything everywhere you look in your house it can either become like a stress thing or like joy uh -huh, so yeah. if everything in your house brings you genuine joy as soon as you wake up you're already in a good mood because there's nothing that clutters yeah. your mind mm -hmm. it's i mean the, i'm not giving it 
like justice describing it <laughs> because I'm not the author, you know, but and then I learned how to properly fold my shirts and organize them in the drawer because she talks about how like she's like, I don't understand why people fold one shirt on top of the other. And I've done that all my life. All our life. That's yeah. how you learn to do it. That's not the way you're <laughs> supposed to fold your shirt and organize it. What? So you're supposed to put it um, standing up vertically and like a filing system. So sense. when you open your drawer, it's almost like you're looking at files rather than like looking through your shirts like that. <laughs> and then I was like, what? And then I was like, that makes sense. So then what does Brisa do? Okay, guess what I did next? <laughs> you fold it. You got all of your clothes out and you well, fold it. No, I haven't done that yet. I'm, I'm in the process. Your shirt. I went on YouTube. <laughs> you all know how much I love YouTube. <laughs> and I like Googled how to properly fold a shirt. Because I was like, wait, I mean, I have to like see this visually. And then I found this channel on organizing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. I've binge watched organizing <laughs> chat like videos. And I'm going to link this video on the website. And I sent it to Fernando too. I'm like, dude, you know how to fold a shirt? Like, this is the way you need to like fold it and like put it away. And uh, wait, hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. Look. Oh, damn. Do you see how that? I mean, she's hardcore. She's like color coded and I mean the whole thing. But that's the my way you're supposed to. My, my husband would like go crazy. Oh, he, wow. would have, he would get a heart on looking at this video. Yeah. So that's how she organizes them. And I'm like, that makes perfect sense. And then when you pull one out, the rest of them st still st like remain standing. They do? Yeah. What? Yes. It's crazy like the way it is. And then she explains how like folding your shirts and folding your clothes is the best way of organizing and not hanging them. So you're still only supposed to hang things that are like... Dude, I just replaced all my hangers. Well, I mean, no, I mean, you can't hang. You know, things are so meant to be hung. Yeah. You need to hang them. But, you know, like T-shirts, like, you know, fold oh, them no, up. Oh, no, no, T-shirts, yeah. And how to properly, like, store away socks. I mean, she goes, like, really deep into... In the book? In the book. She oh. goes really deep into, like, how clothes have feelings. And, like, you're supposed to touch the clothes to give them good energy. I mean, like, she goes into, like, really, like, those sort of things. But one of the things that caught my attention were socks, right? Because... Mm -hmm. How do you have your socks? You roll them over in a bun and you put them there, right? Yeah. And she says like, that drives her crazy. And like how is one of the first things that like when you start like folding the socks the right way, it's like life changing. What? And What's she, the okay, right way? Okay, so exactly. Right? I was like, wait. <laughs> so then how do you fold them? Mom, sorry. All your <laughs> teachings are going. Wait, so here's the way she explains it. She's like, think about like socks are the one thing that take the most beating out of all your clothing material. Which mm -hmm. makes sense. You walk on them every day. They're all sweaty. You know, the poor socks, at the end of the day, they're just like dirty, like all like, you know, those torcidos <laughs> with a black eye. And then what do you do when you put them away? You fold them up again and you throw them in there like poor socks. <laughs> so then poor, you have... Poor socks. I mean, but that's what she talks about. And I'm like, you're right. And you start looking at things that way. Mm -hmm. And so she puts one over the other and then she folds them in like two, like in the department stores. I know you've seen them. And then oh, she yeah, files yeah. them away too. So then, like, they're folded nicely on top of each other and then just, you know, folded in three. They're hugging each other. They're hugging each other. And then they're keeping each other company. So think about, like, when you go into your closet and you open these, like, how happy in the morning is, you know, it's easier to find everything. Not, you're not like, where the hell's that sock and the other sock? So from now until <laughs> the end of the year, every day when I go home, I'm just going to start. I'm going to start with all the clothes. I have so much of the baby's clothes, too, that I need to get rid of. <laughs> You have no idea how much clothes of babies you'll have. Like, and then next month you're going to get out more and then next month because they just grow so much. Mm -hmm. So I she talks so about much. how to like not keep, I mean, like this book is just, I am like, I was like, I couldn't stop reading it. I was like, oh my God. And my husband was like, Are, were you awake all this? I was like, I couldn't <laughs> sleep. You know, I, I just went into this whole like cleaning yeah. thing, you know? I have to learn how to let go of things. I'm very, I'm a, I'm, I'm a person that like puts so much like affection and things not and not because um, they're expensive I, I don't like expensive stuff i'm not into like expensive stuff i just put sentimental value on everything like oh this was the one that i saw you know what i mean like everything like i have a shirt that my husband had on when we met and i have it you know oh. because it, it's like that he had that when we met and i still have it in my closet and every time I see it, I'm like, should I throw it away? I'm like, no, because I met him on that shirt. You know, like it's, I always put, have a, well, you know me, I have a freaking explanation for everything. Yeah. 
So that's why it's so hard for me to let go of things. And I, I hate it when my husband throws away things, but I also appreciate it because I wouldn't be able to do it myself. Right. So sometimes when I go and like I open the closet and it's empty, I'm like, where's my stuff? And he was like, what? What stuff was in here? And I was like, my... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what was in here. Thank you for throwing it away. Because otherwise I'd open it and I'm like, no, but I'll need that, you know, but when Valentine comes. And then when Valentine comes, I go to the Dollar Tree and get like a hundred more other things Ooh, like the that. the Dollar Tree. Whoo, man. Big ups to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree <laughs> came through on Christmas Eve. Did you watch my Dollar Tree Snapchat, by the way? I did not. Oh, my God. I had this whole story on Dollar Tree on my Snapchat. <laughs> like how it just like I, I, I mean... Dude, the well, Dollar uh, Tree. That's oh, where I got my centerpiece. For everything you saw in my house for Christmas, all Dollar Tree. What? Yes. You well, would not even I think wrapped, about it, right? I wrapped the presents and Dollar Tree stuff. Me too. too. I know. And it's like so cute. That's why I was like, Fernando, where'd you get your wrapping papers? Like CVS. I'm like, ha, loser. loser. <laughs> <laughs> How much you pay for that roll? $5.99. <laughs> 99 cents. A dollar oh seven with tax. <laughs> and then they have really... So this is what I do at the... <laughs> And a Dollar Tree. So I had stuff from like um, Krista's birthday party because I mm. got all this trinkets from there. So then Thanksgiving came. And no, Halloween came and she wanted Halloween stuff and I had things left. So I went and I was like, I need to exchange this. Yeah. And I get new stuff. And then whatever I had left, I go for like Thanksgiving. And then I just keep <laughs> recycling the stuff <laughs> that I don't use. And I'm like, I don't pay anything. <laughs> I haven't paid anything. Well, I used all my credit right now for Christmas because... You know, I did, but <laughs> that's what I've been doing. They have a really good return policy, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope nobody at the Dollar Tree is listening. <laughs> like this girl, you're gonna get a ban from the Dollar Tree, <laughs> like no returns anymore. Well, you know, I, I go to one and I return on another one. Sephora <laughs> has a really good return policy, too. I went to like a, a makeup, like thing where i would mm. buy things and then return them and then buy them again and then return them you know until <laughs> sephora no longer gave me my money back they only gave me store credit and that's when i stopped returning things that's why forever 21 has only uh, credit store <laughs> i mean it makes sense um but anyway going back to the decluttering yeah i makes well, sense. and in the book it t it tells you like to look at things we're like okay so for example like if you I mean let's say one of the things that you have like you know in like a frame that someone gifted you right and you have it stored away and you haven't used it in like four years or since, since it was given to you mm -hmm. and you look at it and you're like oh no but my friend gave me this <laughs> I can throw it away and it's a frame I hate this frame but eventually I'll use it and like if she comes and she doesn't see the frame like you take you can think of and you put it away and it's stored okay mm -hmm. so she says this What's the purpose of that frame? <laughs> to put a picture. To be displayed, right? So this poor frame <laughs> isn't fulfilling its purpose. It's not. It's stored away, you know, feeling like raggedy doll. Like, just like, <laughs> fuck, like, my life isn't fulfilled. I'm a frame. <laughs> Let me be a frame. <laughs> and you're, you're like, you're making this frame unhappy by just having it stored away. Mm -hmm. So take this frame. And let it live its purpose. <laughs> let it go. Give it to somebody. Give it. Or, you know, just take it to a Goodwill. Donate it, you know. Yeah. Um, I I mean, I'm taking it to the next level, dude. I, like, right now I went to the car. I opened my, like, my car thing. That's why I threw away those papers. I just grabbed everything in my glove <laughs> compartment and threw it away. I, didn't, I was like, you know what? All I really need here is my insurance card. Yeah, you know that all... Uh, also Not even. I only did my <laughs> registration. Insurance card's on my phone. Yeah, all, all of those... Really, seriously, who reads all of those manuals inside the car? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you a story. My husband does. Your husband, he does. <laughs> Wait, but I'm going to share to you a story. So, um, when we recently purchased... When we first bought our family car, quote-unquote, because it's really my husband's car... Um, we were driving to Calexico, and I was going to pump, and we have a plug in the car. Mm -hmm. But the plug wasn't working. So I'm like, how do I make this thing work? All you really have to do is Google and all the manuals yes. are online. Yeah. You don't really need to keep these things. <laughs> like, 
I don't know why we keep so much stuff. We, I'm like, everything comes with instructions, right? Everything comes with instructions. I have a drawer full of books of instructions. So do I. <laughs> of things. I haven't gone to that point, but I know I'm going to throw all of those away because she says, throw those things away. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's so true. like, it's crazy how people have like a whole set of things of like instructions and <laughs> manuals and warranties. Like, really? You can just Google anything <laughs> it's everything is online like you don't need to keep paper yeah, that's true and pl- yeah that's true that is true they should <laughs> just give you a cd <laughs> <laughs> no but you have a bunch of cds and you're like when are you gonna pop them in your computer and look at just my Google. computer doesn't even have a cd drive anymore <laughs> so anyway uh that was a long bit (laughs) conversation on just decluttering but ladies but that's that's what it means like declutter your life dude i just do it in every aspect of your life dude like i i mean honestly i read this and my husband was like oh it makes sense Mm -hmm. and um i'm gonna start tonight with just my closet and the ball the baby's clothes and i'm just first tackle all the clothes but yeah I do that once every other week. <laughs> so, no, but she talks no, about... No, I know, I but know. Like you should, I, mean, the like, I, I am going to read the book. I'm going to read the book you because should. I need it. I need order in my life. I to, and I told I'm Fernando... Another, I need order in my life. I will have order in my life this year. I think like... I think... I have realized so many things about my life in the past six months. Right. When did we start the podcast? In July? Yeah. Oh my I God. think it was going to be the 25th episode, so... Yeah. I think I was making a lot of, I think I was making progress on my, with my therapy Therapist. and changing all of that stuff. But I think I really, I really, really think. Believe. That you believe. I believe that from the moment we started the podcast, I have changed so rapidly, so much. I mean, I see you. Yeah. I mean, like, sort of like you're growing up. I, I'm becoming me. And it's so funny because now I see things so different. I see... It's weird. It's so cliche, but you guys have changed my life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. You know, everything like it, this has changed my life so much. I, I am, I am not even, I was not even, I was not being not even 10% of who I can be. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and, and that is the truth. That is the truth. Like, I just feel like now. I am a different person and I think different and I see things different and I am willing to accept a lot of the things that I was doing wrong because before I was like, no, I don't, you are, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. You Mm -hmm. know? And now when somebody points out a mistake on me, I'm like, you're right. You know, you're right. I I should change that. Or I, you know, I am, I'm, I'm more accepted. And I think 2015 has left me that, like that I can be a different, I can be who I always wanted to be. And I didn't know I could be. That's (laughs) That's <laughs> wow. No, that's the truth. That's it. That's totally the truth. And I would not, I was always the person that was in the background. I was, and I put myself in the background. Nobody put me there. Mm-hmm. I was the one that I put myself like that. I made me small. And then I realized that I could be something different. And I just wish that everybody out there and that I, you can do it. Mm-hmm. If I did it, you can do it. Like, and not not even like on a professional level, like oh, you know, I'm I'm not really doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is like me inside. Every morning when I wake up, I feel like a different person. Yeah. Like I worry about myself. Like I just see life in a different in a different from, from a my- different perspective. Mm-hmm. And I'm 34 years old, and I'm like, damn, like you know, I w- I, I it took me this long to get here, but it's not too late. And I no. can, and I have so much that I can do and so much that I can give. And there's so many things that I want to change still about myself that I see, like, I need so much patience. Being a mom is so hard. And I can see that there's, like, a lot of triggers that happen with my kids that I still have to work on. And there's a lot of triggers around my house. You know, like you're saying, like, you, it's true. I wake up and I'm like, oh, my house is a mess. And then, you know. <coughs> and maybe like yeah if when i clean up my house it's, i'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be different and but it's that's not my cleaning. goal for no so but i know what you mean i know what you mean i know exactly what you mean because that, that's why that's how i feel every time i leave my house and i go somewhere with my husband i think that's why my brain like i feel like my brain needs that like 
I would tell people, some people, every time I tell people, like, I like to go to Vegas with my husband, a lot of people give me shit about it. Like, eh, Vegas, you know? you know? And I was like, I understand what you're saying. Like, I get it. It doesn't have, for me, it's Vegas. It can be something completely different for you. Mm-hmm. But every time I, I get, wake up and everything's so clean, mm-hmm. there's so much light, mm-hmm. um, I go and I come back and the room is, like, nice and it's, like, it smells nice. And I'm like, that, it's a vacation for my brain. Oh, wait, hold on. Side note. I also like watched this video on how to properly make your bed <laughs> like a hotel. Dude. Sorry. Game how the hell changer. I I, Google YouTube it. I will. It'll show you. I we'll will. Keep going. Sorry. But you know what I mean? Like every time of when you go somewhere and like you stay in a hotel, like, a, you know, and then you come back and the pillows are fluffy and the thing like and you just like, <gasps> oh, you just rest like and I feel like you're you're right. If I do, if you do that in your house, it can be like that every day. Mm-hmm. I don't have to go to Vegas or whatever it is that it's for you. Like, you just have to declutter your life and clean clean up your life. And um, I think this year I'm I'm gonna do that with a lot of things in my life. I think. And one of also things that I've learned that it helps me a lot in the mornings. No matter how late I'm running, no matter like how you know my baby's crying, no matter what happens, I always do my bed in the morning. You have mm. no idea how that will change also the way you start your day. And, and it I, changes your room no, completely. And now that, I, you know, before I used to the bed and I was never really happy with it, look, but at least I did it, you know. Now that I saw that <laughs> YouTube tutorial and how to make your bed, I th- I've been doing it since, you know, Friday. So Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and this morning. It looks like a hotel bed. Really? Yes. I will Google Because, you know, you have to tuck in the sheets at the bottom. Yeah, you do. Like, no, but even the comforter, even like the duvet. Oh, everything. Everything. If you tuck everything in, then you're like, oh, that's right. If you think about it, <laughs> yeah. all the hotels, everything's tucked in. Everything just looks so neat. Yeah, neat. And the pillows, you know, with the end open, mm-hmm. I always used to put those facing outside. outside. No, you're supposed to put them facing inside. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just watch the tutorial. <laughs> watch a tutorial making the king bed is a freaking pain in the butt though but once but hold on <laughs> but once you know how to do it it's almost like yeah you, it's almost becomes like a happy thing mm-hmm. and that's what the book explained like once you learn like it's almost it's almost like you and enj- it's weird because you some people might be like i will never enjoy making my bed like Brisa, like me we'll be like i would never enjoy washing dishes I, you can like i'm never gonna enjoy cleaning mm-hmm. but once you learn how to do it yeah like I hate folding clothes. I hate folding but, clothes. But like once you <laughs> learn how to fold clothes, it's almost like you look forward to it because Yeah. It you're it's like dude, a filing system for your shirts is the most genius thing I've ever heard. You know, like Dia, she loves like ironing clothes. She's like, I love it. Like I that she could spend like the whole afternoon ironing clothes. I'm like, You crazy? <laughs> like I hate ironing. Like I Hate it with a passion. <laughs> but you're right. One time uh, um, I was being a good wife and I told my <laughs> husband that I was going to iron his shirt. Uh-huh. And then I started looking at all the lines and it's very like symmetrical, you know, everything's mm-hmm. so symmetrical and everything has to be straight. And, and I was like, okay, I get it. It's like, it could be therapeutic. Like if you just, you know, you do it for one, that one time in your life. It's great. Yeah. But it, yeah. But, but I know, I know what you mean. It, it totally makes sense. And you're right. <clears throat> so that's one thing that I always recommend. And then, um, well, let's take a break and then I, <laughs> <laughs> we talk so much, you guys. So sorry, let's take a break. Let, I'm gonna let you guys go get some water. Just go take a break. Let's take a break. I got my letter and I need to say something because it's not fair. <laughs> okay, go. The worst part about being sick for me uh-huh. was that every time <laughs> it is because it just happened again. <laughs> every time I sneeze or every time I cough, I pee on myself. This is bullshit. That's all I got to say. <laughs> it's happened to me this entire weekend. When I sneeze, it's like. It's it's still happening. I don't know. We need to get those vagina balls that Jackie was talking about. <laughs> that should be another. I'm going to put vagina balls on my vision board. Like a For tight, real. Dude. And then I have a tight, a tight. Remember how mom was like, I used this. I've had four kids and I'm fine. I'm like, because you got surgery. Yeah, she had to get surgery to get it fixed. I mean, that's what I think. 
like bottom line i think that's gonna i'm um, what i'm gonna end up having to do once you i should once i have my third kid because i'm like this is too much like i'm sick <laughs> and i'm like i'm like <laughs> not only do you smell like uh like uh phlegm you also smell like pee <laughs> It sucks, man. Sexy. Sexy. Okay, so another thing that I also want to uh, recommend, ladies, another book. I read. I, I really like to read. I know that was one of your things, Paulina, that you wanted to do more. Yeah, I need to put that on my... Well, yeah, I guess in my board so I can remember it, but I really need to read. You know, it's just kind of... It's, it's difficult when, you know, you're kind of like... There's so much that you have going on. And it's like, at what point am I going to find to read? Like, mm-hmm. really? But I don't know how I, I find time to read all the time. Your kid goes to sleep at 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much have the whole day free. <laughs> that for me, it's like the whole day. At 6 p.m., I'm still like, I'm finished up dinner, you know, or like, and then we got to sit down and eat and then we got to take a shower and then I got to, well, actually, mm-hmm. Friday night? Friday or Saturday? Yeah, I was reading them a book together and then I just decided to leave Savina there with Krista mm-hmm. in her room in her bed and they slept the whole night both of them they didn't wake up oh Savina slept with me the other night she's <laughs> the sweetest thing in the world oh she I is. love her <laughs> she's so she cute. held me all night <laughs> with her like face of just like I know I what's up with her face <laughs> what's up with her face I mean, you know, like it's not sadness. It's like ternura. Like, no, it's like oh. lasting. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like, don't even know what it's to like, say. It's like, the whole yeah, the whole time she's like, <laughs> <laughs> like a puppy, like a sad puppy. And then she holds you, and she's like, <laughs> and she's like, mama, mama. I'm like, honey, I'm I'm right here, and, it, and she starts playing by herself for a little bit, and then she looks and she doesn't see me, or she says that I'm going to the kitchen, mama, mama. I'm like, oh my god, she, I don't know, and then she just looks at me like, <laughs> look at me, <laughs> look at me with her big eyes. <laughs> so but I st- okay, uh-huh. so I left them to sleep um, together, together, and that work like they and then I, I would really go in because i was like I can't believe this is not like something's wrong uh-huh. <laughs> something's going on in there and i don't know don't you have so the monitor? Went, yeah but I, I couldn't really see their face because they were like so cuddled with mm-hmm. each other and I, that that freaks me out you know still so i went and i was just like looking at them and they were just like hugging each other Aww. and i was like yes and they didn't come to my bed they didn't like they Krista was like mommy come and get us because she doesn't leave her by herself so I was like I'll be right there <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that, that's good hopefully that's gonna stay like that and then I'll have you know because I used to have to do one mm-hmm. and then the other one and so that took more time right so I'm hoping to save some time <laughs> but like just leaving both of them there at the same time so hopefully I'll have more time to read yeah I mean just put your. I mean, it goes back to everything, right? Like, yeah. kind of like how the order that mm-hmm. you know, and then schedule, schedule, and you know, that's yeah. kind of where it comes. But another book that I really recommend, you ladies, and another thing that I I made it a point, like halfway through the year, and I've been okay at it. It's like budgeting and like mm. investing and looking at my finances. And I read this book that's called "I Will Teach You to Be Rich," and it's mm. by this like finance blogger. His name is. Ramit Sethi said he I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly but I read this book it was recommended to me I think by Patty or Linda both of us but the three of us read it together and um it really like like Linda Patty and I check in like every so often like look at like how our investment portfolio is how our budget's going you know yeah, like, I don't have an investment portfolio um every like we just uh I mean it's and it's really changed the way I look at money Mm-hmm. Um, like how I make a purchases, it's really and I mean everything about saving and the importance of saving. I didn't. I used to be really good at saving, like when I was in high school and college. Remember, yeah. Yeah. I used to have so much money saved, and then too. and then I spent it all, <laughs> and then I never saved again. So I think I'm good. I'm, I think I'm good at saving, but I might my, my save my way of saving is like freaking super old school, like mom and dad status. Yeah, you know, like 
I have this whole thing in my mind, like, okay, I'm not going to deposit my checks into my bank account because if I see the money, I'll spend it. So I don't. And I have them all, like, you know, in an envelope <laughs> somewhere, like, just standing there. But, you know, and when I started reading the book, I was like, okay, <laughs> I need to, like, yeah. move to this. Yeah, you and, and it, it takes time. And, again, but I think, like, this, but definitely this year, I am going to take it more serious. And also... It teaches you that like when you save is not just about saving like mm-hmm. for the sake of saving. You know, there's investing investing for the future when you retire, like having the money that you do not touch no matter what. Like mm-hmm. you just then you have different like saving accounts. Mm-hmm that you do like for example my husband and i are saving to go to a big because we never had a honeymoon Mm -hmm. so we were planning to save because we want to go to bora bora so bad Mm -hmm. so we're saving to go to bora bora so we have a savings account that we named it bora bora like when i look at the account the account's name is bora bora nice so it's almost like you put money in there and like all the time you see like okay that goes there you know Mm -hmm. like we want to save for something else like that's just sort of like the way that I found it so that book so helpful yeah. because sometimes we just save and we see this big and like, but why do you have the money for yeah. Like, Then you don't know like, oh, well, I have this money, so it's okay. I can make this purchase and make that because I have that money in the and you have this money in the background that's just sort of like unnamed. Yeah. Right. So if you name each, you know, category, then you know, like, well, I can't touch that money because that's my Bora Bora money. And, you know, I can't touch that money because that's, and you, you don't know, fuck with where I work. Yeah. No, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's my money. That's my, that's my retirement money. So I definitely mm-hmm. can't spend out. So when you have uncategorized money, that's the money that you always spend on shit that you're going to end up throwing away when you yeah, declutter. Right. So mm-hmm. that book really helped me. And I, and I think also like in our community, like I don't, I think Latinos aren't very good at nope. <laughs> investing or saving money. Like, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it happened to our parents. Mm-hmm. It happened to a lot of parents, the friends that I know that they're like, well, what's your, you know, it's, they're not used to that. They're so, not. um, it's something that we need to teach our kids yeah, too, you know, and, and you know, how are our kids going to see the way we spend money? And, you know, when we, you know, when we consider to, cause you know, we want the best for our kids. We want to buy the best for our kids. Like my husband went to buy a bike for my kid for Christmas. And I I'm know, like, that has no pedals. Oh, it's called a, pa- <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, that bike, um, it's actually really cool. I watched a YouTube video on it. Uh, <laughs> all you do is get on top of it, and he walks with it, and he like gets agarra arranque, like, and then <laughs> and then he gets on top of it and lifts lifts his feet. So uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah totally. So he learns how to balance. Balance, right? I and need then, one of those for adults. I told <laughs> yeah. you. And once <laughs> he learns, ride a bike. and once he learns how to balance, then he's ready to pedal. But yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, baby, can can even like walk yet <laughs> like that could have waited for next christmas you uh-huh. know but again like sometimes we just want the best for our kids we want to buy everything for them yeah. and sometimes you know we make un uneducated purchases that's why i have the best gift for sabina this year <laughs> yes yeah, sabina got the best gift ever she opened she, ha- she, she was had, like thanks she has her new car seat that's gonna last yeah. for 10 years yeah. <laughs> sabina Santa came Claus. up um also i i remember you gave me another book that i think it's like really helped me a lot and it might help a lot of people remember that book that you gave me well somebody gave it to us the checklist checklist oh the checklist manifesto mm-hmm. yeah it was given to us by uh a mentor uh-huh. yeah it's it's a really really good book it's not like the most entertaining but I loved it. Yeah. I, I mean, look at me. My life revolves around this. Yeah. It's it's really, it's a really, really, really good book. And I think like I'm trying to teach my husband how to like do lists because he's really bad at that. And, you know, um, we're, we're entering this year together, like trying to like better ourselves as we do every year. <laughs> but um, you should never stop. No, we're not. Oh, by the way, they have the book that I told you, the decluttering one in Spanish. Oh, really? Yeah. For your husband. He, I, bu- he, I mean, he's pretty good at that. He probably he'll probably be like, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's why I always tell her, yes. I, anyway, I bought it for mom too because I, I just order one for mom. Um, yeah, and um, so that book is really good. It's called the Checklist Manifesto, and that one is by Atul Gawande. <laughs> I'm sorry for not. <laughs> If at some point, which I hope one of the authors hears our podcast, they're going to be like, well, these girls, they never knew how to pronounce my well, name. Well, remember, they were, they were like, hi, can I speak to Rishaya? <laughs> Rishaya? <laughs> um, the, at Atul? 
<risa> Ey, tú. No, a tú, claro, ¿no? Ok, en español, a tú el gawande. <risa> ok. <risa> the kids, he writes a book and it's called The Checklist Manifesto and they have it in Audible, Audible books and everything. It's really, really, really good. It's really good and it talks about the importance of checklists and everything and, and I and ever since then I try to implement everyday checklists. Like everything I try to do also it's like checklists. But I now my next step is actually following through with my check with my list of things, yeah, you know? Yeah. Uh but at least you know, like like at least you that's what I was saying to my husband is like you have a visual of what you need to do because you you start doing something you're like oh I have to do this and this and that and then you start with one thing and then you get so involved that you already forgot about mm -hmm. the other things but if you have if you look at it constantly it, it just helps me like when I have things crossed out a lot I'm like damn it was a good day today I did well, a lot of, of things right it's the best so. I mean I have like 10 of these notebooks <laughs> uh -huh. that I just and, and I love looking at them like you know three years and I see like And like I took it a step further and I actually followed up this year because I was looking at it. Look how like color coded I know. my notebook is. <laughs> and I actually did it the entire year because I got this last year. So this one's going to go in my file yeah. for 2015. And I'm going to get my new one that I already bought. And it's just and I love this little yeah. notebook. You know? Yeah, I, I have one book notebook that I love, too. And I, I just ordered mine because it's about to like and it lasts me exactly a year. Yeah. I mean, the, look the at book. these. How about look at this week? <laughs> All Good. crossed out. Uh -huh. Remember um, our friend Betsy? Uh, she was one on our episodes. She said that she sent her husband's emails about like setting up like family meetings. Oh, that's right. <laughs> right. And she oh. takes it to another level. She takes it to another level. <laughs> I'm at, we're gonna, she's going to be at our vision board party Yeah. Tomorrow. So we should, you know, she has some good tips. That she's very well organized and I think organization in every aspect, that's another way of organizing your life. Just be organized because it'll sell, save you time. And I mean, I'm saying I'm, I'm trying, ladies. We all, I mean, it's just about you. We're trying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we're not perfect. We're going to, you know, have But this pitfalls. Is, that's what it's all about. Put it out there. Yeah. Talk about it. Talk about it. Like, don't be scared of saying, I want this. See, I want to get in shape this year. And yes, I know people look at me and they're like, you're so skinny, but you're so skinny. Like, it's not <laughs> about being skinny, guys. It's about having musculo. <laughs> You know, musculo, musculo, I, I'm like, musculo. I'm like skinny, but flabby. I mean, you know what I mean? Look at me. Look at this. You know, like there, I have no ass. Uh. I want an ass. You know, I just so that's the one thing I always put on my vision board. <laughs> I write on my journals. Dude, there was a point. I remember there was a point Ooh. like a, a couple like some years ago when you were like, oh, wow. I want to go back to that woman of steel. Oh, dude, that was. <laughs> My best. Like, I look at pictures when I look like that. I'm like, I can't believe I got my body to look that uh -huh. way. I mean, like, I had a four pack. I had a butt. My legs were, like, in shape. My arms were perfectly toned. But that I was, was miserable. But I was miserable. Yeah. I mean, like, I was just, like, a miserable person. Like, I didn't <laughs> eat anything. My whole life was, you know, but it's about balance. So yeah. my husband got me for Christmas a membership to pedal stu to pedal which is a spinning studio. Mm. And I I've been I mean I know spinning uh, is like spinning is really good. I know like spinning is cool now because of soul cycle and it but like I was on spinning like you know 7 years ago. I was when I was in spinning when I used to live in Mexico yeah, like when that was like what 10 years ago I would go and we would do like that was that was really good. And, and I loved it. <laughs> Step. step has disappeared step is so much fun bring step back you know? <laughs> bring it back step yeah. was fun you should do it on your poops and your poop step <laughs> for real <laughs> you can, like, double use double use your poop stool as like poop stool no and i remember step. when i used to, i used to do spinning and step like i would go like for four classes a day like i, I loved it so much i used to, I do used that. to love spinning it spinning brings me so much dope. joy yeah so and it wasn't i, didn't, I, I don't be really that like soul cycle it's so loud like i, I feel like been, i feel like i i when i went that time i mean i mean i'm pretty sure people love it right and they pay so much money to go uh -huh. but when i went There was a point where I felt like I couldn't breathe. Like it was too much. Like imagine you're in a club. Imagine you're like in freaking like in a <laughs> packed because it's packed. Doesn't people want to get in there? So they pack as many s bikes as they can. So you pack. You're in a club. Do you know? You're basically in a club. Um, <laughs> it's dark. There's loud music. Mm -hmm. People are sweating around you, and you have to work out. <laughs> <laughs> like and there's no drinks. <laughs> Where's my table service? <laughs> There's no table Where's service. Where's my Patron bottle? And you can't stop. You cannot stop. 
Yeah. You know? And then it's like, I just felt like I was going to faint. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, this is not for me. But there's people that love it. Yeah. So, I don't know how this uh, studio is, but, you know, my husband and I were working on a on a, on the a schedule and, like, when I go to the gym and when he goes to the gym in the morning, because I think the morning times are the only time yeah. that we're going to make it work. So I want to do, I want to do more, um, either yoga or meditation or something. Oh, meditation is great too. I said, okay, so one of the things that I need to do more because I learned about that when I went to the summit mm -hmm. and the importance of meditation, yeah. how it heals your body. And it's just, uh, so I need to work out and like get in shape. Like I want to get my four pack before I get pregnant again. And I want to meditate every day. Mm -hmm. Like I need, those are the two things that I, and you know, decluttering. And I feel like once those things are, completely like as a ha their habits like the rest of yeah what life has to bring will exactly. come so easily and like the visions that we will put on our vision board will actually come because my life is in order my finances are in order my order. savings are in order i'm working out i have a four pack and <laughs> meditate you know i come home and make dinner vegetarian dinner for my husband <laughs> My Damn, kid, Rizia? my kid wakes up, you know, goes to sleep at maybe at seven now. You know, he starts walking. Everything's baby proofed. I mean, that is what wow. I picture my like, 2016. That will be your 2016. That will be. Yeah. So that that's be. what I'm putting out there, you guys. As those are my intentions, and I hope you guys, you know, join us in the journey. <laughs> and what are your intentions? What are your intentions? Put intentions. Put intentions. I don't think you should do propositos because then you'll forget. Yeah. About it. Just put intentions. Yeah. Intentions. And journal. In journal. I journal. Jur yeah. I'm going to journal gonna, more. Yeah. I looked at I my journal this year. Video. It's easier <gasps> oh, for me. Oh, yeah. You should it's do that. It's easier for me. Like, it's, it's, it's just, I think also because I was so insecure, like, it was hard for me to see myself and, like, to replay it. Like when I wrote, when I, when I did journaling for a little bit, I, I don't, I'm scared of reading it. I don't, I, you know what I mean? I was scared of reading it because I didn't feel good yeah. all the time. But now it's different. I feel like, oh, okay, I can see it. You know, now it's so funny because I went to, uh, I'm finally becoming a, a, a citizen of this fine country. Oh, nice. So um, Ooh, We're going to have a citizen party because <laughs> yeah. you're the last one to get your citizenship party. Yeah, I'm the only the last one. And, Wait, no, um, mom and dad are still to get a citizenship. We're actually doing it at the same time. So. Oh, nice. Um, I went and they took my pictures, but I had already sent pictures. So that morning, um, I didn't do my makeup before, right? And I go in there, they're like, oh, your picture. I was like, wait, what? You're going to take a picture? <laughs> right now? Right now? And she was like, yeah. I'm like, is this a picture that's going to be there? She's like, um, I'm not sure, but I think so. And I was like, oh. So I took a picture and I look at it and I was like, you know what? <laughs> That's me. What can I do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're looking at me like this right now. Like, why am I worried that there's going to be a picture? Like, you're actually, I'm here looking like that. Yeah. So, now I'm not, now I kind of like myself. <laughs> you know, that's how I think, too, that, like, I feel like I go up and down. Like, I don't know why sometimes, like, I just, you know, I think, I don't, I don't know if men go to the same thing, but women, we just kind of, we're yeah. so judgmental of us. Of our own selves, like mm -hmm. when I look at a picture of me, like I hate it every time. Like <laughs> I'm like I look so bad, like that wrinkle and this hair and this and that. And then I look back at pictures of like two years ago, and I'm like, why did I ever think I was ugly? <laughs> I you know, do, like, yeah. like yeah. why should I? Why did I not take more pictures? Mm -hmm. Like you know, so yeah. I need to like go of that too. I need to just. We're all beautiful. You, you know We're book? our daughters of God. That's the other book that I want to talk about. We are God chicks. Oh, God chicks. You guys should definitely read that book. By our doesn't pastor, matter if Holly you're Wagner. like Christian or doesn't doesn't matter. Just read that book if you're a girl, if you're a woman. Yeah. Read that book. I need to reread that book. It's too. really it's a yeah. really really good book about self love and about acceptance and everything. And and it's, I remember like she would say she said that look at yourself look at the mirror and just say you're you look good you you're you're doing good you look cute you're you're gorgeous you're you know and I and I started doing that and I remember I told somebody to do that and they were like that changed my life and I was like I know right like you you know teach us porras tu who's gonna do it yeah. right so it's true that's why um, especially because you have daughters now yeah. so you have to and, teach them you know, that and, and even like with like with your husband you know sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes you feel insecure and you feel like and you pass that on to them I was reading the article another another call the other day an article the other day about they say like the worst thing to tell your husband it's like oh my god look at look at this like 
Lonja. Lonja. Because he has never seen it. He doesn't see it until you point it out. If you're like, look at this, look at this, he's going to be like, oh, damn, right, right, <laughs> you know? But if you don't do it, like, yeah. sometimes I feel like that about, like, like, you know, we always feel insecure about our stomachs. But at night when my husband comes home, every single time he puts his hand under my shirt and he holds my stomach and he hugs me from my stomach. And before mm. I would be like, I would push it, like, be like, I didn't feel good. But now I'm like, that's what he likes. And he likes it because, you know, he's grabbing it. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, that's another thing, too. Like, sometimes I don't know why. Like, my husband and I will be, you know, making out or something. And, like, or sometimes he gives me affection. And, like, I'm not good with affection. Because, you know, we didn't grow up with, like, major affection. Like, mm -hmm. it's crazy to me how the, my baby's, like, growing up right now with, like, mm -hmm. so much love. <laughs> right? I'm like, like over love. I'm like, I wonder how you're going to turn out to be because I am not. I did not grow up but like we didn't grow up no. like that. I mean our parents loved us. Like yeah. they did. It just it wasn't like mijito, te quiero mucho, mi amor. Like it was I remember a cultural thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I never, you know. But anyway, so I and like I, like lately when like he does it and like I have this thing of like I want to like kind of like flinch away, I stop myself and I'm like, "Okay, Risa, why are you doing this this moment? Like just like let it go. Like hug him." Like hug him back, and I hug my husband. Okay, don't think like I don't, but <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like receive the love. Yeah. So um, I think like also like those are kind of things that you have to like make like at that moment, mm -hmm. like like live in the moment, like yeah. just like that's what meditation is. Yeah, important, like to like live in the moment. like stay in the moment and then like just breathe and like take it in. But like yeah, that's also yeah goes it's back very with everything. Mm -hmm. Last week uh, that, you know, I was so sick and I was like, I'm not about the makeup and the hair. I was like, Ugh, I'm just not. And then we, it was Christmas and we posted that picture on, on Super Mamas. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, eh, that's just me right now. For real. Like in real life. <laughs> and then I posted a picture of my um, of us like at, at home and we were about to go to sleep. And my husband, I, you could see like he's... Um, bags under his eyes <laughs> like my my hair is like all messed up my kids are like and i was like that's who we are yeah. like you know like the other day i think i don't know where we were I remember somebody was like i talking about the kardashians and how like their pictures are so like photoshopped and everything uh -huh. and somebody was like well that's how i want to see them i wouldn't want to see them like looking toe up that's disgusting and i was like why would you want to see something fake like i get it mm -hmm. but I would like to see something real. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, of course. Like, I guess there's people that don't, you know, like, they're so like, I don't want to filter myself too much anymore. Right. Because this is who I am. And also when they meet you in person, it's better than like, <laughs> you look like, oh, and they're like, oh. <laughs> you know? You're like, oh, Paulina. And they're like, oh, Paulina? <laughs> For real. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, it's... but. It takes time. It's taken me um, three years of like hard work and hard work is not like, oh, my God, I have to do homework. But like really looking within myself and just like accepting a lot of things and just letting go of things. And it's easy to say. But if there's yeah. a moment where you feel like that, if you feel like shit, do something about it. Mm -hmm. do something about it don't stay there just do something whatever it is like ask tell somebody to help you do something just do something about it this year do something about it <laughs> this year make 2016 a year of do it <laughs> just the do year it. of yes oh yeah like that other book you bought oh my god i think we became like the book <laughs> episode <laughs> well guys the year of yes by I Shonda Ryan. you guys my sister and I can keep talking forever. <laughs> our, our, my, our intention originally was to have like a 25 minute, ep 25 minute episode. Like, okay guys, it's our intentions. <laughs> Goodbye. I hope we didn't bore you. Yeah. Uh, we love you guys so much. Like Thank my you. sister said, like you guys have changed our lives. And yes. another intention for 2016 is to have millions of listeners across the globe. Super and mamas. And to grow the sisterhood that yes. it's like becoming because... I see that hunger of like support within yeah, our course. community. So share, so share the podcast with your friends, guys. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're trying to say. Join the group. Join the group. Like, just you know, just be part of what we're doing. Like, be a super mama. Like, just you know, let's grow the podcast together. Let's like, let's do this. let's get to like a million listeners. 
you know, in 2016. And let's throw a party. Yeah. Like, can you imagine <laughs> you get like a million listeners? I mean, there's a million of us out there. Oh, there's yeah. so many of us. Like, Come if on, you get girls. a million, like, it's, you know, it's not that bad. So, you guys, um, we love you. Thank you. Um, you know, happy end of the year. Yes. And we will see you in 2016, guys. Oh, we my will. God. Uh, our Instagram, Paulina. Underscore Super Mamas. And our Facebook page. Super Mamas Podcast. And our website. www.supermamaspodcast.com. <laughs> you guys have the best time with your family. Enjoy, Enjoy Make your memories. Make memories. Take pictures. Yes, take lots of pictures. Yeah, you make fun of me, see? I don't know. I mean, that book said to like declutter the pictures <laughs> in your life too. So I don't know. I'm on well, kind of the fence on that. They're but the computer. <laughs> <laughs> when are you ever going to look at them? Anyway, you guys, let's follow with a good note. We love you. Sending positive eyes to everybody. Yes. God bless you, each one of you. And set your intentions. Make a vision board. And we'll see there. you in 2016. Make them true. Bye, ladies. Super mama. Love you. Super mama.